Dear friends, Radio Yugoslavia, or the International Radio Serbia, ceases to exist on the 31st of July 2015. For you, our faithful listeners from all over the world, and also for us who have worked on this radio, the only consolation would be the fact that this only staged shortwave session in Serbia, which has existed for 79 years, will be remembered as an efficient and reliable promoter of Serbia worldwide. No one has ever presented valid reasons why this media of rich tradition, range and staff potentials, and with big plans until yesterday, should cease to exist. Unfortunately, the assessment, not based on arguments, were louder than serious analysis and recommendations of experts, professionals and numerous listeners that a world radio service is necessary for Serbia, that it presents the country worldwide in the best manner possible, and that no serious state will renounce such an effective diplomacy. Our significance has been confirmed by the letters of thousands of listeners from all over the world. Some listen to us because of our information programs, some because of economic topics, while many got to love our country, Serbia, because of its tradition, beautiful and interesting landmarks, and the rich heritage they were acquainted with by listening to the International Radio Serbia. Regardless of your affinities, you have all told us you were listening to us because of our objectivity and the possibility of hearing us at any time and anywhere, for such is the power of short waves. The Serbian government, however, believes that the closing down of Radio Yugoslavia, the International Radio Serbia, is a justified move. Regardless of the fact that the state of Serbia is in economic crisis, that each saved penny is precious, that many citizens have been rendered jobless, that new work positions should be opened, it has become unclear to the very end why the only state shortwave station has suddenly become too expensive after 8 years. We are, however, certain that Serbian citizens, taxpayers, who have financed us for all these years, would have decided differently had they been asked to. What remains, after all, is the pride we feel because of the history of our radio, as well as the hope that the voice of Serbia will reach our listeners wherever they are. Thank you, dear listeners from all over the world, for having trusted us all these years. Radio Yugoslavia, the International Radio Serbia, now greets you and signs off.